lost that match. And of course, first, the teams will be introduced to the crowd here in the Duna Arena. Montenegro will be playing the White Caps, Croatia in the blue ones this time. And first, the Croatian team will be introduced to the crowd. So now, the number one goalkeeper, Marko Bijac, is coming to the podium. 29 years of age. Former youth player who has been a member of Pro Record since 2018. Then number two, Marco Matzan, who was the one championship league title with Big Dubrovnik four years ago. Number three, Loren Fatovic. Number four, Luka Lonchar. Where it's the forward. Number five, the 32 year old Mario Jukovic, player of Olympiakos. And the number six, Luka Bukic, who returned to the squad after missing at last year's World Championships. Number seven, Ante Vukicevic. Down in the number eight cap, the captain, Andro Bushia. Number nine, Lovre Milos, player of Mladar Zagreb, just like Josip Rulic. Four year, three years of age already, Rulic. Number 11, Rivea Benic. Then the Spanish-born, Javi Garcia, He's represented Croatia since 2013, 36 years of age. And the other goalkeeper is the number 13, Ivan Marcelic. And here's Ivica Pizak, the head coach of the Croatian team. Two great assistant coaches, of course, Miles Modlaka and Sandro Sukno, excellent former players. And now the team of Montenegro will be introduced to the crowd. Here comes the great goalkeeper, the number one, Dayan Lazovic, who plays in Budva. Then the number two, the captain Dashko Brugrian, player of OSC Budapest here in the Hungary Championship. Number three, Juro Radovic, the youngster. Number four, the very experienced Marko Petkovic. Number five, Udo Chuchkovic, player of Marseille, last year's Len Euro Cup winner. Number six, Dimitri Obradovic, one of the Yadran Herzegovi players in the squad. Number seven, Stefan Vidovic. Number eight, Bogdan Jugic, also a player of Marseille. Number nine, the big star, Alexander Ivovic, player of Proreco. In the number 10 cap, Vladan Spajic, a Yadran uh, player. Number 11, Dragan Draskovic, plays in the Italian Championship in the team of Palermo. Number 12, Stefan Pieschivac, player of Spandau in Germany. And the second choice goalkeeper, number 13, Petar Pesanovic, player of Yadran. And the head coach is another former great player, Vladimir Gojkovic, who won the European Championships 12 years ago in Malaga. As a player, of course, with the Montenegro teams and plenty of uh, Montenegro supporters also on the bench, on, uh, on the stands. The two referees, Sergei Nomo from Russia and Rafael Colombo from Italy.
matches to come at the European Championships. Still to come, I should say, the bronze medal match and then the gold medal match, of course, between the whole team Hungary and Spain. And just like the finalists, Hungary and Spain, teams of the bronze medal match also met here 10 days ago. Here at the Duran Arena, Croatia won that time in the group phase by 11 goals to 10. Montenegro came back from being done 5-10 to 10 all in the last period, but the Croats netted the winner in the end. So 11 to 10 for Croatia. And the Europeans, the Croats took over the lead in the head-to-head -head by beating their arch rivals in the quarterfinals in Barcelona two years ago. With this win in Budapest, they lead 4-2. lead by 2-1 in Rio four years ago they won by eight goes to seven and the birds the Croats hold the premier lead in 2009 11 to 5 for them two years later 9-6 in the quarterfinals and in 2015 10-4 also in the quarterfinal so after the first successes of the Montenegrins, wins in the semi-finals of the 2008 Europeans and in the quarters of the 2008 Olympics and the 2009 World League final, the Croats had a better spell. They won the next four knockout matches. In 2011, the Worlds scored the final. A year later, the Olympic semi-final. In 2015, the Worlds scored the final. And two years ago, the Europeans scored the final. Regarding uh, the previous matches here in the tournament, Montenegro beat Slovakia by 15 goals to 4, then lost to Croatia 10 to 11, and beat Germany 10 3 to finish second in Group A. In the quarterfinal qualification, they down Turkey by 17 goals to 6, then it caused a huge upset by Austin world champion Italy in the quarters. They will find 10 8 win, but in the semis came another 10 8, but this time to Hungary. Croatia closed the prelims with three wins. They beat Germany by 17 goals to 9, then Montenegro 11 to 10, and Slovakia 16 goals to 4, and then down Greece by 14 goals to 11, but fair to Spain in the semis, 8 9. Montenegro scored 70 goals from 190 shots. The efficiency stands at 36.8%. Croatia netted 66, 66 goals from 143 shots. That's enough for 46.2% shot efficiency. Almost as many in less games than Montenegro. All about. Uh, the top scorers, Dragan Draskovic and Marko Petkovic, top the in-house scoring ranks for Montenegro with 11 goals apiece. Juro Radovic and Alexander, Rabovic, uh, Alexander Ivovic netted 10 apiece. Andro Bushia netted 10 for Croatia. Mario Jokovic is next with 9 goals. And we saw the two, goal, two goalkeepers as well. So it's uh, once again Dejan Lazovic in front of the Montenegrin goal. But in the Croatian goal, not Marko Biac, the first goal, choice goalkeeper, but the number 13, Ivan Marcelic, who stood in front of the goal for only 24 minutes so far in the European Championships. Biac for 136 minutes. That's the first swim off of the bronze medal match here at the European Championships. Once again, Montenegro in the white caps. The team in the blue caps, Croatia, takes the ball and they have the first of possession. Now Ante Vukicevic gets the call. It's a free throw for Croatia. Jokovic. Xavi Garcia. Only eight seconds of the shot clock. Another free throw for Croatia. Matsan. And this pass is too short, so no shot at all by the Croatians. And the first offensive play by the Montana Greens. Now the captain, Dashko Rubian, who plays in Hungary actually for nine years now. He's been playing in the Hungarian Championship in the teams of uh, Valsos and then in OST. So there's the first exclusion foul of the game. 6 of 5 for the team in the Whitecaps, Montenegro. And it's the number two. 
Marco Mazzan, who leaves the pool with his first personal foul. And there's the first save of Marcelic, the Croatian goalkeeper. There's a player of Nado Zagreb. Five players coming from Jug Dubrovnik, four from Mladen Zagreb. These two teams are regular participants at the Champions League. Another chance for Croatia, and that's a five-meter penalty for them. One minute and 35 seconds into this game, and a foul coming from the Montenegro number three, Juro Radovic. So penalty for Croatia. Mara Jokovic will take it. And he scores. Absolutely no chance for Dejan Lazovic to save. And that's goal number one for the team of Ivica Tutsak. And that's the joy of the Croatian supporters on the stands. Goal number 10 in the tournament for Mara Jokovic. And goal number five from a penalty. Five field goals. And Croatia number five. So ten goals, just like Andrew Buscia, the captain in the tournament. And Croatia have the lead now. Obradovic gets the call. Brguyan. Radovic. Back to Brigrian, the captain. Eight seconds at the shot clock at save number two already by Marco uh, Ivan Marcelic, the Croatian goalkeeper. And no goal so far by the Montana Greens. Two minutes gone from the bronze medal match. And no foul this time. The Montana Greens supporters wanted to have a five meter penalty, but no foul on Radan Spajic. So, still one nil for Croatia, and they are pushing forward to double that lead. Vukicevic. See Vukicevic. Eight seconds at the shot clock. Gets the call. Jokovic. Xavi Garcia. Now an exclusion. First exclusion foul in... The Montreal Green team, there was a penalty foul, remember, by Juro Radovic, and this time Dimitri Obradovic leaves the pool for 20 seconds. So a six on five for the first time for the Croats. Three seconds and only two on the shot clock, and that's a bad pass. It's a missed opportunity for the team of Ivica Tutsak. Still only one goal in the bronze medal match at the European Championships. And Dragan Draskovic with the ball. An exclusion from Croatian side. And it's Rube Benic, number 11, who is out for 20 seconds. Ivovic. Radovic. Ivovic. And the block shot. Excellent defensive play by the Croats. And already two missed power plays for Montenegro. Is the attempt of Alexander Ivovic, the record player. It's almost halfway through the first quarter. See only one goal. Scored by Maro Jokovic from a five-meter penalty. Xavi Garcia. An exclusion this time from Montenegro. And another five-meter penalty for the Croats. Foul on Josip Rulic. Vladan Spajic making this penalty foul. And a chance for Maro Jokovic once again to find the back of the net. So once again, Jokovic against Lazovic. And one 
once again, Mara Jokovic scores and he makes it 2-0 for Croatia. Half a dozen goals coming from a five meter penalty in this tournament. Five field goals as well, so all in all, it's goal number 11. There's a penalty foul coming from Spajic. And another cool finish by Mara Jokovic. And celebration by the Croatian fans. Two new for Croatia. Jovic. Bogdan Jurdic, Radovic, back to Jurdic. And exclusion once again. Number eight from Croatia, the captain, Andro Bucie. Is out for the first time in this match. Extra player advantage for the team in the White Caps, Montenegro. Seven seconds at the shot clock. And another save by Marcelic. He's still unbeaten. Ivovic. Radovic. And great block. Luka Bukic, the Croatian number six, making it. Now save number three by Marcelic. And then the block by Bukic. Who, as I mentioned, returned to the squad after missing last year at the World Championships in Guangzhou. Angelo Shetka was a member of the team last year, but not now. Bukic has replaced him inside the last three minutes. An excellent save by Lazovic. Save number one by the Montenegrin goalkeeper. So it remains 2 0 for Croatia. who spent a couple of years in Italy in the team of sport management. But returned to Montenegro and he's a player of Budva in his home country. Another save by Marcelic. Actually, it's comfortable bomb. And the Montenegrins are still yet to score. Tune in for Croatia. We are heading for the last two minutes of quarter number one. Jokovic. Five seconds on the shot clock. And they find right post. And they still have the possession for another 20 seconds. They have the rebound. Jokovic, exclusion foul. So the number five, Uroš Čičković, leads the pool, but a big chance for Croatia. So it remains 2-0 for the team in the Blue Caps. Five exclusion fouls, five major fouls, I should say, in the Montreal Green team, three in the Croatian side. Radovic, Ivovic. And Ivovic scores. He breaks the deadlock for Montenegro. The first goal in the bronze medal match, and the player of Proreco, the big star of the Montenegro Green team, makes it 1 2 from the view. And that's an action goal for the team in the white caps. Goal number 11 for Ivovic in the tournament. Three-time Champions League winner, of course, Ivovic. Already 33 years of age. It's a couple of uh, really experienced players and a couple of youngsters as well in this good mix, mixture of the Montreal squad. the last minute of the first quarter and another exclusion so once again six on five for Croatia it's the number seven Stefan Vidovic who leads the pool for the first time chance for Croatia to regain the two-goal lead Vukicevic and they do that with the help of the right post Ante Vukicevic manages to 
behind the back of the net. His first goal today and goal number six in the tournament. Croatia free, Montenegro one. Absolutely no chance for Dejan Lazovic. Excellent finish by the Croatia number seven. Vukicevic, who is one of the two Marseille players. In the field, as I said, in the Montenegrin team. Actually, one of the three Marseille players, two players from Montenegro, Cucicovic and Djurdic, also a member of the Land Euro Cup winner from last year. Bruguyan. And another great block by the Croats. This time, Dimitri Obradovic, who didn't find the back of the net. 3-1 for Croatia, 12 seconds to go in the first quarter. Busia. Milos, and the backhand shot, easily saved by Dejan Lazovic. Luka Loncha, the Croatian center forward, with the last attempt of quarter number one. So three goals coming from Croatia, two from Mario Jokovic, both from five meter penalties, and one from Ante Vukicevic. And the only Montenegrin goal coming from Alexander Ivovic. So after the first eight minutes in the bronze medal match, it's Croatia free, Montenegro one. Check the first quarter statistics. Only 12% of the shot efficiency for Montenegro. They had a total of eight attempts and only one goal. Seven attempts by the Croats, and they managed to score three times. 42% shot efficiency. So Montenegro. After gaining independence, already finished first in the first ever European Championships 12 years ago in Malaga. And they won against the Serbian team by six goals to five. Six then they have two silver medals. The last one in Belgrade in 2016. They played actually all three finals against the Serbs. Winning the first one and losing the other two. Croatia have the first possession in the first in the second quarter. They're leading by three goes to one. And that's a turnover foul. Josip Rilic, the center forward, committing this. And now the chance for Montenegro to tighten the gap to only one goal. Now Juro Radovic gets the ball. And that's another action goal. And goal number two for Montenegro. And the goal scorer this time, Dragan Draskovic. Goal number 12 in the tournament by the Montenegro number 11. And he's the top scorer of the team, actually. Also plays in the Italian Championship, the team of uh, Telimar Palermo.
Jokovic. Lukicevic. Xavi Garcia. That's a good steal by the Montreal Greens. Alexander Ivovic making it. So now a chance for an equalizer for Montenegro. Great start by them in the second quarter. And they are men up now. Exclusion from the Croatian side. And it's Marco Matsan, the number two, who leaves the pool. And it's already major number two. Radovic, five seconds on the shot clock. Radovic once again. And the shot in the very last moment by Ivovic. The shot clock ground down and a couple of saves in a row by Ivan Marsalic. Ivica Tutsak is complaining that the shot clock had already run down. But the Montenegrin still could make two more attempts after the sign. There's goal number four for Croatia. And an action goal for the team in the Blue Caps. Elica Tutsak would like to have a VAR review. But it's Josip Rulic who makes it 4 2 and regains the two goal lead for the Croats. So goal number four for Croatia. There was nothing Dan Lazovic could do against that. Rulic, who also represented Brazil at the Rio Olympics, but then returned to the Croatian side. Radovic. It's Luzhi once again. 6 on 5 for Montenegro. Rivier Benic. And he's a second personal foul. So just like Marco Matsan, Rivier Benic is also on the two majors. That's a very interesting attempt by the Montenegrins. And Croatia now have the possession. And for the first time, could have a free goal lead in this match. Jokovic. Bushia. Exclusion. So the number three, Juro Radovic, is also on the two personal fouls. And an extra player advantage for the Croats. Jokovic. And they score. Very cool finish by the number six to Kabukic, who makes it 5 2. His first attempt of the game, and it's already successful. Goal number eight in the tournament by the player of Ronaldo Zagreb. He was a member of the Olympic and the World Championship uh, silver medalist team as well. They finished second in Rio, losing the final against the Serbs, and Croatia also finished second in the 2015 World Championships. Was not a member of the World Championship team. The gold medalist team which won here in Budapest three years ago. Brguyan, Ivovic. And there's the exclusion. So Josip Rulic with the latest personal foul. 5-2 for Croatia. And a missed shot by Montenegro. And it's the captain, Dashko Brugian, who shoots wide. So halfway through the second quarter. Comfortable lead for Croatia. And now they have the possession as well. That's a counter-attack. Bukic. And 
the next one saved by Lazovic. Luka Loncha with this great opportunity to make it 6 2. But Lazovic somehow managed to save that. Save of the match so far. And save number four by the Montenegrin goalkeeper. Obradovic. Ivovic. Obradovic. He's the right post. And the Montenegrin is win back possession. So now they have another 30 seconds for this offensive play. Ivovic. Obradovic. And a good steal by the Croats. Mara Jokovic. An exclusion from Montana Greens. And a team timeout called by Ivica Tutsak, the head coach of the Croatian team. So Vita Tutsak, who has been head coach of the Croatian team since 2012, but of course two excellent former players, two legendary players, former players in the squad, in the coaching staff, Miles Modlaka, former world champion, and Sandro Sukna, former Olympic and world champion. Now six on five for Croatia. Jokovic. Vukic. Vukicevic. Jokovic. Javi Garcia and Bukic with the latest attempt. And from the rebound, it's Luka Lonchar who manages to find the back of the net once again. It's 6-2 for Croatia. Three goals in a row by the Croats. And finally, the center forward is also the score sheet after two successful attempts. Goal number seven in tournament. Is the block by Drashko Brugian and the great reaction by Luka Lonchar, player of Dubrovnik. It's a four goal lead. And now the Montenegrins desperately need to do something, and they do that. An action goal, a great move. And it's the number nine, Alexander Ivovic, who makes it 3-6 from the view of the Montenegro Greens. Two goals from Ivovic in this bronze medal match after five attempts. And there's a celebration at the Montenegro Green bench. Despite conceding this time, Ivan Marsalic is on 66% regarding the save efficiency, which is uh, really impressive. Leon Lazovic on 40%. It's an exclusion once again. And the team captain, Drashko Bruguyan, is also on two major fouls, just like Juro Radovic. So another extra player advantage for Croatia. Great block. Javi Garcia, Vukicevic, and a shot from tight angle, and it's goal number seven for Croatia. Excellent finish by Loren Fatovic. Goal number five in the tournament. 
was already six on six. It's an action goal officially. Fatovic, who is, of course, son of Elvis Fatovic, the head coach of the Australian men's team. He regains the four goal lead. With more than 90 seconds to go in the second quarter. Ivovic gets it back from Djurgic and shot from his stance goes wide. And it is uh, already attempt number six by Alexander Ivovic. Managed to find the back of the net twice so far. And we are heading for the last minute of the second quarter. Excellent defensive play by the Croats. They've conceded only three times. Vukic. One more pass. That's not the best one to the center forward, Josef Rulic. So 43 seconds to go. Ivovic. Draskovic. Chuchkovic. And exclusion. Foul on Vladan Spajic. And the team timeout called by Vladimir Gojkovic, head coach of the Motor Green team. Ajmo jedan Đuro, dva Draško, Spajić prva stativa, Leka, Vajmo Bogdan zgodno, ne, Marko zgodno prijo. Ajmo odigra jednu jedinicu, odmah uođi Draško jako, gdje je srednji, ako je srednji tamo, daj Marku da zavuče, ti si druga stativa. Ide na Đura, Dragane isprati Đura, Spajić ostane visoko, nek se sačka Đuro, ako uđe na Draška u sredinu, ide šut, ajde. Ajmo, 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 So the Croatian number six, Luka Bukic, is out with his uh, first personal foul. And the power play this way for Montenegro. And once again, it's a mass score situation for them. They are turning by four goals. Brbujan. Radovic. Four seconds on the shot clock. And the latest save by Ivan Marsalic, save number seven already. So he's on 70% in the save efficiency. And that's the end of quarter number two. Great save once again by Marsalic. Impressive performance by the Croatian goalkeeper. Third half time of the bronze medal match here at the Duna Arena. It's Croatia seven, Montenegro three. the half-time statistics, still only 17%, the shot efficiency for Montenegro, 50% for Croatia. Every second attempt turned to be successful for the Croats. No fans may go so far. 
Croatia won both wins. Nine personal fouls in the Montenegrin team, seven in the Croatian team. Three steals and three blocks by the team of uh, Ivica Tucak. And here are the best goal scorers, Alexander Ivovic and Mara Jokovic, both scoring twice. But it's comfortable lead for Croatia at halftime, 7 3 for them. So the best results of the Croatian team. They won, of course, the Olympic gold medal back in 2012 in London. Two time zero medalists, including the last edition in Rio. Two time world champions, 2007 and 2017. They won the European Championship title only once in 2010 in front of a home crowd in Zagreb. They won two silver medals, 1999 and 2003. And last time, so two years ago in Barcelona, they finished as bronze medalists. Now this time, once again, they like to repeat that performance. Their big goal to get an Olympic quota here in Budapest is not fulfilled, of course. Hungary takes the quota from this uh, European Championships, and that means both these teams will have to take part in March in Trias in the Olympic qualification tournament. Meanwhile, also the third sprint is won by the Croats. So they are leading by seven goals to three, and they have the first possession. That's very easy save by Dejan Lazovic. And it's even, and it's true foul. So Luca Loncha is out. 6 on 5 for Montenegro. And they score this time. Despite this touch by Ivan Marsalic, who almost managed to save this attempt, it's gone number four. Luca Tusak is not happy about that. So, goal number three for Alexander Ivovic. Out of seven attempts. This time, that's a power play goal. 7-4. Jokovic. Only four seconds on the shot clock. They still have the possession, but it's only two seconds. And Rulich almost scoring goal number eight. And the Croats win back possession. So another 30 seconds for them. Jokovic. And exclusion from the Montenegrin side. So the number five, Udoš Cicicovic, leaves the pool with his second major foul. Radovic Cicicovic. These two players on two personal fouls. And the mistake by Luka Bukic. Another other chance for Montenegro to tighten the gap. But don't forget, in the group phase, it was already 10-5 for Croatia. But the Montenegrin still managed to come back to the game. And after 10 all, a Croatian shot decided the contest in favor of the team of Ivica Tucak. So the Montenegrins never give up. Exclusion. So it's the number nine, Alexander Ivovic, with his uh, first personal foul. Javi Garcia. 
Six seconds on the shot clock. Bukic. Garcia. Jokovic. And once again, Lazovic making the save. And he's on 50% now. Seven attempts out of 14. Seven saves out of 14 attempts at his goal. All improving performance by the Montenegrin goalkeeper. Jokovic. Bukic. And exclusion once again. And Ruiz scores. And this time, Dejan Lazovic couldn't do anything against that. The power play goal for the Croats. And they regain once again the four goal lead. 8 4. And it's goal number two for Josip Rulic. Former player of Primoria, Mazzaroneta. Fulbinense in Brazil, of course. Radnicki and Jug won the Champions League trophy with Dubrovnik side back in 2016. Now he's been a member of Mladen Zagreb since last summer. Radovic, Brguian. Radovic. Drashkovic. And that's an action goal. Well, Drashkovic tried to surprise Ivan Marsaric somehow. And he managed to do that. Goal number two for the Montenegro number 11. Let's check how it went. Very unlucky move and touch of his head. joy of the Montenegro Green players. Once again, only a free goal difference between two teams. Exclusion. So Duro Radovic is out of the game. It's his third personal foul. He won't be allowed to return to the pool. And a great block by Ivovic. So somehow Montenegro survives. And an exclusion from the Croatian side is the number six, Luka Bukic, his uh, second major foul. Brugian. Ivovic. Six on five for Montenegro, halfway through the third quarter. A six on six, and the save by Marcelic. Save number eight. Over 60% in the save efficiency, Ivan Marcelic. And save on the other side as well by Dejan Lazovic. Luka Loncha was denied. And a very important save by the Montenegrin goalkeeper. Maybe a chance for a quick counter-attack. Drashkovic. Shot from tight angle, easily saved by Marcelic. Javi Garcia. Milos. Anuka Bukic. Seven seconds on the shot clock and inside the last three minutes of the third period. And it's a save by Lazovic, but that means a corner throw for Croatia. And another 20 seconds for this offensive play. Garcia. Vukicevic. Xavi Garcia. Five seconds on the shot clock, and another block by the Montenegrins. So only three goals so far in the third quarter. 
Few coming from Montenegro and Olivan from Croatia. Ivovic. Outside the six meter line and an excellent lob shot. Alexander Ivovic. With his fourth goal. The foul was committed outside the six meter line, so he was allowed to shoot directly at the goal and he did it. Here's the foul by Xavi Garcia. The referee raised his hand and great love shot. The player of uh, Proreco makes it 6-8 from the view of the Montana Greens. Vukic. Jokovic. Vukic. And a foul on Josip Rilic. And he pushes the ball under water. That's a big mistake by the center forward. So Montenegro with another chance to turn to the gap. Only one goal. And once again, a great comeback by the Montenegrins, just like in the group phase against Croatia. Ivovic, seven seconds on the shot clock. Jurgic, and another last shot, but this time Marcelic manages to save that. Almost the same choreography, but it's still 8-6 for Croatia. So it's a double exclusion. It will be 5-on-5. Five five. The number 7, Stefan Vidovic, is out from Montenegro. His second major foul. And the number 5, Mario Jokovic, from the Croatian side. So, 5 on 5. Jim Garcia. Vukicevic gets the call. And he loses the ball. Now, as we are heading for the last minute of the third quarter, Dashko Brugian is pushing forward. Sibirguyan. And Brugian scores. Goal number seven for Montenegro and goal number four already in this third quarter. Where they only conceded once so far. The team captain of the Montenegro team makes it 7-8. As I, as I told you before, he's been playing in the Hungarian Championships for almost a decade now. Came to Hungary back in 2011 and was a player of Varsas Budapest. Then switched to OSC Budapest. There's a celebration of a very experienced Montenegrin player. Now an exclusion from Montenegro. 30 seconds to go. Djurgic is out. That's his first major foul. Jokovic. Javi Garcia. And they hit the crossbar. The captain Andro Buscia with the latest attempt. And still eight seconds to go. Ivovic. And saved by Marcelic after the shot coming from Marko Petkovic. It's a very interesting uh, third quarter. Behind us, Montenegro managed to win that by four goals to one, and they are back in the game right before the last quarter. It's Croatia eight, Montenegro seven in the bronze medal match of the men's tournament at the 2020 Land European Water Polo Championships.
interesting encounter between Montenegro and Croatia. That's the statistics after the third quarter. 26% shot efficiency for Montenegro is still better for Croatia, 34%. But Montenegro is very close to our opponent. The difference is only one goal. And there's the last swim off. And for the first time, it's Montenegro who takes the ball. 8 7, and now a chance to make an equalizer. Ivovic. Brguyan. Kuczkovic, Brguyan. There's exclusion number one in the last quarter. So Marco Matsan with his uh, third measure. So he's also ejected just like Juro Radovic from the Montenegro side. And the great save by Marcelic. Save number 12. Xavi Garcia. Well, it couldn't be tighter than that. Fantastic bronze medal match here at the Duna Arena. And the first block in the last quarter. Coming from the captain, Draško Brugujan. There he is now with the ball. This is to Ivovic, and the shot goes wide. So, it was already attempt number 10 by Alexander Ivovic. Found the most in the field. Javi Garcia. Di Garcia. And another block once again by Drasko Brugujan. Jokovic. Benic. Garcia. No chance to pass the ball to the center forward. And that's an exclusion foul. So Alexander Ivovic and then also Stefan Vidovic has to be out. So 6 4 a double power play for the Croatians. Jokovic. And they score. Stefan Vidovic is also out of the game. So the second ejection in the Montenegrin team. And that's a two goal lead now for Croatia. Goran Fatovic for the second time on the score sheet. The assist comes from Mario Jokovic and no chance this time for Dejan Lazovic. And that's only goal number two from Croatia in the second half of the game. So five minutes and 40 seconds to go in this bronze medal match. And Croatia has a two goal lead. Brugujan. Ivovic. This time doesn't shoot. Brugujan, seven seconds on the shot clock. Petkovic. An exclusion. So Andro Bushi, the team captain of Croatia, is out with his second personal foul. Petkovic, Ivovic, Brguyan. And it's a great goal. Stefan Pieshivac for the first time on the score sheet. And he makes it 8 9. Goal number 6 in the tournament by the Montenegro number 12. Player of Spandau. So he plays in Germany. No 
no chance this time for Masaric and celebration at the Montero Green bench. So once again, they are back in this game and the yellow card was shown to Ivica Tuzak, the Croatian head coach. So tension and, of course, excitement in this game. Benic. Not the best pass to Jokovic. They are losing a couple of seconds now. Xavi Garcia gets the call. Only two seconds on the shot clock. Garcia. Shot clock runs down. Another chance for Montenegro to make an equalizer. Ivovic. Maybe a chance for a quick counter attack as well. But it's two on three. Ivovic has to wait for the teammates. Petkovic. Exclusion. It's the number seven. Ante Bukicevic is out. And the timeout called by Vladimir Gojkovic this time. Draško 1, Bogdan 2, Leka 3, Dimi druga stativa, Spajić prva i Marko. Ajmo ovu dvojku, Ulu, Sviće, Pol, Caljega, Draško, dobro je, druga je obrana. Znači obrane, kad dođe lopta kod Draška, vraća se, ali ne pročito goma, napani go pa ga gledaj oko, jer ti sam pejale na mjestu se tamo. Ajmo Draško, ajmo, ajmo! Draško, ti si jedan, ovdje. Bogi, Bogi, desno, Bogi. Gojković, who had uh, more than 300 caps to his name in the national team, which was not only Montenegro, but before that, the Serbian Montenegro team as well. Now they are men up. What a great opportunity to find an equalizer. Halfway through the last quarter, 9-8 for Croatia. But they are losing the ball, the Montenegrins. That's a big mistake in that situation. Marko Petković with that one. So still 9-8. Jokovic. Bukic. Another very tight and exciting contest between these two, just like in the group phase. Bukic with the latest attempt. It's blocked. And now the Montenegrins are pushing forward once again. They are still trailing by one goal. Obradovic. Jurdic. Ivovic. Jurdic, Obradovic. Six seconds on the shot clock. And that's a great tackle by the Croatians. And it's even an exclusion foul. And this time, timeout called by Vica Tutsak, the Croatian head coach. The number six, Dimitri Obradovic, will be out for 20 seconds. Hoćemo promijeniti, znaš, promijeniš. Ajde, ajde, igra, 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 ajde. Nije, dečke. Znači idemo, ej. Trojku, Ante. Sa Androm koji ide, trojka. Joke, ti se raširi desno, držimo prvu liniju. Luka na dva metra. Znači, duplo dodavanje, ali neka u početku krenemo s jedne na drugu stranu. Ajmo, idemo, Luka. Ajmo, trojku. So still 9-8, and now Croatia has a power play. So three ejected players already in the Montenegrin side. Obradovic is also out of the game. And that's an extra player advantage for the team of Ivica Tucak. Vukicevic, Jokovic, Vukicevic. Xavi Garcia. Jokovic, 
Knight six on six. And a very important save by Dan Lasovic, who keeps their hopes alive. Steel 9 8. Vangula piece in the last quarter. And we are heading for the last two minutes of this bronze medal match. Brguyam, Ivovic. Only seven seconds on the shot clock. And no foul this time. But the Croats win back possession. Well, that's a crazy game, isn't it? One goal difference in favor of Croatia. Inside the last two minutes. Brguyan. And there's another exclusion and the equalizer. So only one minute and 36 seconds remaining on the clock. It's Montenegro number 10, Vladimir Spaich, who makes it 9 all. And the team captain in the Croatian team, Andro Bushia, is out. And his third major foul. So five ejections already, three from the Montenegro side and two from the Croatians. There was a slight touch by Marcelic, but in the end he didn't manage to see if that attempt coming from Vladimir Spaich. The last 80 seconds, Jokovic. And turnover foul. Now the opportunity to even turn the score for the Montana Greens. Ivovic. And Ivovic scores. We are heading to the last minute of the game and Montenegro takes the lead, 10-9. Remember, they were trailing by four goals after the second quarter. It was 7-3 at halftime for Croatia and now it's 10-9 for Montenegro. Amazing comeback once again by the team of Vladimir Gojkovic. So can the Croats save that match? Maybe their last offensive play in this bronze medal match. And exclusion, six on five. No more chance to take a timeout for Ivica Tutsak. Jokovic. Chuchkovic is also out of the game. Six seconds on the shot clock. They need to shoot now. Jokovic. And Lazovic making the save, 24 seconds remaining on the clock. And Montenegro will clinch the bronze medal at the European Championships. We can confirm that now. Brguyan. And the clock runs down. So, Montenegro with a really come back in this game, just like in the group phase when they were unlucky in the end, losing that encounter by 11 goals to 10. This time they managed to win, and that's a celebration in the water and on the stands as well. Grasje Brugge and the team captain also can't believe that. And Vladimir Gojkovic and his team makes it they clinch a medal here at the European Championships. Fantastic victory for the Montenegrin team. Ivica Tutsak arriving to congratulate his colleague. It was 3 1 in the first quarter for Croatia. The Croats won the second one as well by Fogos to 2. But then came the Montenegrin comeback. 4 1 for them in the third quarter and 3 1 for them in the last one. And Alexander Ivovic, absolutely the hero of this game, scoring a total of five times out of 11 attempts, of course. A 
Timas, the key figure, just like Dejan Lazovic, who finished this match on 55% save efficiency. And despite four ejections, Radovic, Kuczkovic, Obradovic and Vidovic, the Montenegrins still clinch the bronze medal. Total of six ejections. So it's Montenegro 10, Croatia 9. So one match is still to come here at the European Championships, and that's of course the big final, the gold medal match between the host.